Oh, hello, just out and about doing a little bit of work again today. I thought I might uh, just take a little bit of footage of this mast. Um, it's a bit unusual, I think this is the only one of these that I've seen that we've got. As you can see it's faceted, it's welded, it's bolted at the bottom. There's the, uh, there's the earth connection to, the, uh, to the, um, the mast itself and the earth cable's going up the inside. One will go all the way up the top to the, um, uh, to the lightning uh, protection device and the other one's probably going to a plate on the inside. I haven't actually seen inside this one uh, where the, uh, the uh, feeder grounds are connected. If it sort of go up the mast you'll see that there's a, a hatch there where you can actually get inside it. And um, there are uh, there's an earth cable in there and uh, a feeder and um, oh, a couple of feeders probably. Now going up, you can see this rather interesting arrangement at the top. This almost looks like something from the Soviet Union. <laughs> sort of, that's what it reminds me of. It's just a commercial uh, uh, UHF installation. You can see there's a little uh, microwave uh, planar antenna on the side there. It's a link up to another one of our sites. And you can see that the, uh, the mounting arrangement for the planar and the, um, there's another unoccupied mount just below that are actually set with chains. And if you look at the, I can't really see the, uh, the LCD viewbinder very well, but you, you'll see that the, the actual mount, I'll try and zoom in on this so you can actually see it. Oh, can you see that? It's very, very dark, this LCD. Yeah, you'll see that the mast is faceted and you'll see there are flat blocks on the actual mounts. So you move the, uh, move the mount round to the facet that you want and then you tighten the chains up. And I thought that was a, that was a brilliant, brilliant design. So there you go. I think this mast is probably about uh, 20 metres tall. As you can see, there's room for plenty of stuff on the top there. Um, and uh, it's probably, yeah, 20, 25 metres tall maybe. Maybe 30 metres. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd, uh, I just thought I'd, I'd show you that because I showed you the uh, commercial HF antenna. So I thought, well, when I'm out and about, I might show you some of the, uh, the VHF and UHF stuff as well. Um, you can see how it's mounted there. You've got those, uh, you've got those flanges at the bottom. Some fairly, uh, fairly substantial bolts there holding it all together. Bolts all the way around it. Sits on a nice concrete pad. And uh, as I say, you can see these. Um, you can see these. It's not circular. It's got these nice facets on it, which of course allows you to uh, to do the mounting arrangement that I showed you just now. This one here has got the. Uh, that's the ladder up to the top, so you can see the arrestor cable there. So when you go up there, I wouldn't be going up there personally, but uh, we have riggers that will go up there, they put their harness on, clip onto that arrestor wire, and go right up to the top. You can see the bolt sticking out, so you have a hand and foot on each bolt. And you just go up it like a, well, you probably go up it like a rope ladder, come to think of it, because there's, there's no sides to it. And, uh, well, there's another, uh, another couple of mounts right at the top there. You can probably see those. They've all, they're already in place, but there's nothing on them right at the top there. See that? There's a couple of vertical tubular mounts there for uh, antennas to be bolted on. And um, there's our stacked dipole array up the top there. You can see those... Uh, see our UHF dipole array right up the top. And uh, just in the middle there, at the top there, see that fork thing at the top with the, uh, the sort of forked arrangement? That's the, uh, the lightning protection device. That's one of our, uh, that's just one of our new masts. Well, I hope you found that uh, interesting or uh, informative or both. Uh, thanks for watching. As usual, I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time.